Welcome to my humble channel. Love them knives? LTK here. What do we have? What are these? I'll tell you what these are, boys. They are real steel. And you know, I was just messing around. I was, it's like, I think I've seen everything that Real Steel makes, and I haven't had everything that Real Steel makes on this channel, but I've had a bunch, because I counted them up, and I have about like 11, 11 reviews I've done that are on this channel. I'll put the links to those reviews on here, but look at this. Look at these knives. Real Steel. Yes, it is. These are frame lock flippers. Check that out. You know, this is a hell of a knife, don't you think? Yes, it is. Ostap Hell, or Ostap Hell, Polish knife maker, and obviously designer, did these. And if you go to his Facebook page, you'll see these knives there. And it's really cool. I'll put the link to his Facebook page in and maybe to his Instagram. I saw that, you know, if you just type his name in, you'll come up with his Facebook and his Instagram and stuff like that. So these are his design. Just like the Kiridashi, uh, the, the Real Steel Puko, uh, P-U-K-K, P-U-U-K-K-O, and there's two styles of that knife, the Scandi and the Duplex. So, I mean, I've got those uh, videos you can look at. So he did the Kiridashi and those two other, the Scandi, the Duplex, and these that I know of. Uh, so, wow, these, whew. Okay, so this is steel. Okay, steel handles. Sandvik steel. This is that 14M, 14C28N. Sandvik that, you know, Kershaw used, uh, whatever. Uh, so, and this is called the Flying Shark. T109, Flying Shark. And when you load it up here, look at the lockup. It's about 35 to 40%. Slide this little baby forward. And it will not be able to disengage. Kick it back. And yes, no problem. So frame lock. And you can see that it's got a carbon fiber insert in the front. No backspacer. G10 pocket clip yeah g10 pocket clip and you know what it does slide right in and out of the pocket i carried this one the other day um and they're pretty they're pretty heavy too like 6.4 uh, ounces okay so they have another model <clears throat> the black wash model is the t109 as well but it's black stone wash the 7822 the regular one with the carbon fiber is the 7821. So just in case you are wondering. Now see the black wash one, which is weird because they didn't put carbon fiber in here, which I don't know, would have been kind of nice uh, as opposed to, because I think they're the same price. So this one has orange G10. It's striking. I mean, it's real contrasty and everything, but yeah. Big knives, four inch blade, nine inches overall. Big knives, pretty darn big. Okay, they have those needle bearings on the pivot. And the action is really good. Uh, the flipper tab is really far forward. You know, look at that, right up there, isn't it? right at the front you got this cutaway here you got jimping on the flipper tab see that kabang now 
Now if I can find all my junk that I moved around. Ah, Lord. And where did I put all my junk? I don't know where I put all my junk. But here's some of it. And let's look in here. So, okay. So you see here, you can see the underside of the G10. <laughs> Maybe it'll, yeah, see? There you go. There it is. Because we've got a little cross member that comes here. Because you can see how right there. See that? So if you look in here, you'll see where that cross member is. But other than that, this is a complete cutaway. Under there. Wild, huh? Oh, same on this. Although I don't think you're going to get any shine through on this, but uh, no. But you can see it the same as the other. Yeah, there's cutaways in here where you have nothing but the material. But it's supported throughout this frame, and then you got a crossover member here. So it's not, it doesn't, I, I was a little concerned about that because I knew that there was a cutaway under here. But as long as they've got that running and it's and it's supported around these edges, I'm not, I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about this collapsing. So yeah, that's cool. But you know, the fact they did carbon fiber on, you know, this is not a high-end knife. Okay, but you know, they they do want a couple of bucks for these. I mean, here's one of the printouts. There, I'm not seeing a lot of places. I mean, this is Amazon, right? Flying Shark, okay, so T109, Flying Shark, they want $89.50. And guess who the seller is? Sold by Real Steel Knives. Four inch blade. 9.25 overall. I, I, you know, it, I, the way I measure it, it doesn't quite get to nine and a quarter, but blade thickness, 3.5 millimeters, etc. You know, 6.6 .6 ounces is what they're saying. So, yeah, I mean, these are not real inexpensive knives. I mean, because 83, as opposed to like if you get the Thor. This is more like 59. So, so is like the Sea Eagle. It's more like in the 58, 59. So these are bigger and they're more expensive. Now it's got carbon fiber, but bigger knife too. And this ain't no slouch, right? Check that out. Okay. Four inch blade, nine inches overall. And I don't, I think this is over three and a half. Well, it's around three and five eighths. Okay, so this is like your normal lightweight EDC. And I love, I love the Sea Eagle. I love the Thor. It's great. But these are a lot bigger, heavier too. Let's get these out of the way just a minute because we want to look at these knives. That carbon fiber is really nice. Obviously, there's no traction there. It's real smooth and kind of glassy. And like I said, G10 pocket clip on the other side. You got this lock out here that keeps this from disengaging. So that's kind of a nice safety function. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, no, I don't have a problem with that. As some people I think do. But and feel that that kind of also detracts from the overall design of the knife. I don't believe that. Uh, in my own mind, that's not a problem. And you know what? These are heavy use knives, so I don't think there's a problem with having this lockout prevent. I mean, with this, you know, thing to keep it from from releasing. Just saying, you've got some jimping up here. Very smooth. Of course, these are stone washed. This is stone washed. This is like 3CR or something. I can't remember the 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 steel, but uh, and this is of course the Sandvik. And these are should be pretty 
pretty sharp right out of the right out of the box yeah they are okay so not a big problem there they got a good working edge on them what do you think i like the design uh you know that's four inches to me which would be you know 10 centimeters right to that the furthest point out on the scale yeah nine and an eighth just barely an eighth maybe just a hair shy of nine and an eighth but they're saying nine and a quarter i'm not quite seeing that just a little over 23 centimeters okay let's see what we got for this is here so point four seven of an inch which is 12 millimeters and blade stock three and a half which is 0.13 of an inch so yes it is three and a half centimeters i mean millimeters i'm sorry did i say centimeters crap millimeters thickness really nice stone wash blade uh the action is really well well done on here they flip really good even though they're big knives they're big knives they're not only big but they're heavy Let's get a weight on these things. What do you think? Whew. Tons of fun. 6.6. .6. They weren't lying, were they? And disengage this one as well. Should be the same. And they are. I mean, G10 or carbon fiber doesn't make any difference. Oh, I'm sorry. 6.6 .6 equals how many grams 186 grams okay there you go something else huh oh they're heavy they're heavy they're a chunk of chains man they snap out good look at that look at that one-handed action i haven't put any lube haven't done anything haven't taken them apart nothing this is just the way they came out of the box okay really nice both of them snap this one has a you know just a little bit different sound to it and i don't know a little bit different feel uh this lock bar for some reason is a little tougher to push aside i don't know why i mean they're the exact same knife basically it's just you get those little little teeny differences between the knives so where's your lanyard hole Nah. No. Could you put one around that standoff back there? Maybe. Maybe. You know, so. But there's no special lanyard hole for it. Which, you know, these might be, you know, in consideration for a lanyard they are, they are a chunk of change. But I was kind of impressed with this one especially. I'm not really big into black necessarily, but I mean, I, I got this one too. Just, I just thought it was so cool. Uh, I, you know, big contrasty thing here. And I like this design. So I had to get one of both because I thought maybe you'd like to see both. And I was interested in seeing both. So you get this cutaway here. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That gives it a little, you know, this gives it a little pizzazz here. When you do that, it changes up. It takes a little, because otherwise you got a lot of material here. And, you know, stylistically, it's nice to have that. Do you have material here? Yeah. So, you know, piercing, slicing, almost a complete flat grind here. Not really, but I mean, for all practical purposes, really good slicer. Big. Big dogs. Big, heavy, long. Maybe a little heavy for like you, maybe you, what you would prefer on an EDC. But um, <clears throat> I don't mind them. 
I stuck it right in my pocket. It slid right in, comes right out, not a problem. I know they're a big knife, but they got great action. These flipper tabs work really good. See, you got the jimping here. And really, really nice. I mean, just, uh, they work like a charm. Uh, you know, the G10 pocket clip, I don't know. I mean, one of the viewers was saying the other day that he saw a knife. I mean, that came standard with the G10 pocket clip. He saw one for sale that where the clip was broken. Could you get another one? Yeah, maybe. And could you, uh, you know, maybe get a clip that would be metal? I don't know. Uh, you'd have to see if you can get a clip that has that same distance, you know, between these screws that would fit here. I don't know. Because some people, they're not going to like a G10 pocket clip. Um, so far, I mean, you know, I, I don't hate them. I'm just a little suspect that they might not hold up over time. And I don't know. I mean, it just seems to me if you put enough, you know, you could break it. And... I mean, you bend anything like a normal pocket clip, you could break it, you know. So, uh, yeah, uh, probably for me, it's not going to make a big deal because I slide it in and out of my pocket, but I'm not doing anything too crazy. So, and even if it dropped on the pavement, I don't think it would break this. G10's tough. I mean, it's tough stuff. So, eh. I'm sure that crossed their minds when they made these at Real Steel, when they decided to do that. So the controversy on this, I don't know. I'm not expert enough to speak to that. But, you know, I definitely noticed that and thought, mm, maybe. Um, so, yeah, I showed you the, uh, <clears throat> the 7821 and 7822 for the black wash. So they're different... Uh, Model no or part numbers, really. But it's a T series, okay? Um, and then they have the E series, which economy, and then they have the S series, which are the expensive ones, like the titanium with the M390 steel, like the Megalodon and stuff like that. Just saying. So good knives. Sorry I took so much of your time, but uh, the feel, the fit, the finish is good. The action's really good on these. Uh, I like these. I was really attracted by the design. I love the design. I don't know. What do you think? I, I think they're real workable knives. I mean, from, you know, comfort, no hot spots at all. I mean, just a real comfortable knife. Big handles. Got lots of, yeah, area where you can get a hold of them. Reverse grip, really good too. Feels good. I mean, didn't get too fancy with the pivot, but it's nice. It's shiny. It's accessible. Not a whole lot going on here, is there? I mean, you've got this standoff and the pivot. Right? These just go for your pocket clip. And this looks like it has to do with the carbon fiber insert. And the pivot holds down the other end. That's it, folks. I mean, uh, there's not a lot going on in there. Pretty wide open. Yeah. Cool knives. Good action. I think I like the stone wash with the carbon fiber best. This G10 one, mm, I'm just not into black. Um, now, I'm not really that big into the black wash, but this might, I, I can see that this would uh, appeal to a lot of people here. And the, you know, the optic here is if you're out camping in the woods, whatever, I mean, you can see this, this drops in the green grass. You know, this is going to be easier to find, especially with the rest of it being black. But, uh, yeah. Boy, they have good action. I like these knives, you know. 
I mean, I like all these real steel knives. These, these bearings, these needle bearings are really nice. Uh, sea Eagle, I mean, they're just, <laughs> wow. They really impress me. All right, thanks for joining me. You know what we do. We love them knives. Stay sharp.